So moving on from that, I've been asked to multiply a decimal number 15.78 by 6. So before I start this multiplication, I am going to pretend that there's no decimal point in that number. So I am going to pretend and move that decimal point two places to the right out of the way. And I'm going to pretend then that that number is 1578 multiplied by 6. And I won't put my decimal point back until the end. So, going off doing my uh, multiplication tables, we need to know our tables or have our table card in front of us. 6 eighths are 48, 6 sevens are 42, and 4 is 46. 6 fives are 30, plus 4 is 34. And 6 ones are 6 plus 3 is 9. Now those are the numbers in my answer, but that is not my answer because at the very beginning I moved my decimal point two places to the right. So my decimal point is sitting out here. I must move it back in two places from here in order to get the proper answer. Which means the decimal point is in there and the answer to my sum is 94.68. Moving on very quickly, number two is the similar type of sum. It's a single digit multiplication. So before the sum even starts, I'm going to pretend that is not 28.53, that is 2,853 to be multiplied by 7. I won't put my answer in until the very end, so then off I go using my table. 7 threes are 21, put down your 1, bring over your 2. 7 fives are 35, plus 2 is 37, put down your 7, bring over your 3. Uh, 7 eights are 56, plus 3 is 59. Down your 9, bring over your 5, and 7 twos are 14, plus 5 is 19. Now those are all the numbers in my answer, but that is not my answer, because I pretended that number was 2,853 by 7. It's actually 28.53 by 7, so my decimal point is sitting out here, because I moved it two places to the right. I've got to move it back in two places, meaning that my decimal point must go there, with my answer being 199.71. Okay, uh, if I were to estimate that, I would say that's 28 is closer to 30, and 7 30s is 210. It's another reason my decimal point should be in there. If I was back at this here sum, I would say 15.78 uh, is nearly 16, so 16 times 6 is 96, so therefore, uh, by approximation, my uh, decimal point should be in there. So you've got to think, can you estimate where the answer, what the answer will be? Can you estimate what the answer will be by rounding off 7 threes or 21? So that would be 210 coming in there. So it has to be in there. So that's how you do simple multiplication of decimal numbers.